Good morning to everyone and welcome to another update on the market. For today, I decided to cover British Pound versus US Dollar. I will speak about the gold market, crude oil and Bitcoin versus US Dollar. I will start with the British Pound versus US Dollar first. So we have here a daily time frame on the British Pound versus US Dollar and I place the Fibonacci retracements for different reaction points. And um, as alerted also in my previous uh, um, in my previous updates, this uh, area around 1.2400 is a very critical for the British pound because we have a series of the you know different um, Fibonacci retracement levels around that area. We also have a Fibonacci expansion, 61.8% um, uh, and there's a 61.8 retracement, 38.2, and overall we have this cluster of the lows. So from my perspective, as long as uh, the pound can trade really and hold the cluster around 1.2340, as long we, you know, the market is trading about 1.2340, there is a chance, and from my perspective, we have a, uh, more odds for the higher odds for the higher, for the upside prices. We can, I can also see that, that stochastic is also an oversold area and that uh, we might also see the reaction back up. So um, there is a chance from my perspective for retest of 1.2540 and then in the next period might, we might even see the retest of 1.2665. <clears throat> Speaking of the gold market, it's a very similar situation except that here we took this cluster of the law but when we rejected back on Friday, also stochastic is an oversold area. We have the Fibonacci expansion 100% from the uh, from the swings from here, here, and here. <clears throat> then market reacted to 61.8, and there is also 38.2 that market basically reclaimed. So um, it can also be just a fake breakout of those cluster of the, this cluster support cluster, and then uh, aggressive back up towards the you know again into this cluster so i also see potential for overall for the upside development on the gold and eventual retest of 2000 mark and then 2040 and maybe 2078 but we are going day by day um, and reference point by reference point uh, for the gold market if the market can really clear if you check here we can see that this area is quite significant so this is the a high that we got from February. So really if the market starts and go into the territory of 1940 uh, Then this can be a really sign for a further maybe drop even to 1917 uh, or even to the um, uh, 1906 which is basically um, Expansion as well, so this area is very crucial for the gold and uh, we got some very aggressive reaction on Friday. So it's a very good sign for potential further higher prices. Uh, crude oil, uh, so we spoke about this potential rally on Friday and we got that rally, but um, the market just barely tested the 73, uh, 60 area. That's a key cluster, key resistance. Uh, the crude oil is in the overall downside trend, short term, lower highs and lower lows. And because of this failed breakout of the inside day, I see potential for, um, you know, potential revisit of 69.37 and then eventually even attack of the 68.45. Plus we have this whole pin bar territory from 67.70 all the way to 63.70 area. So I will not be surprised if you go to, to test this area, this pin, this pin bar territory. So that will be um, all from this segment. And then just to cover the Bitcoin versus US dollar, we see that there is a you know, fake breakout of this support cluster and uh, market just um, doing stagnation around this area, but still holding this like again, support area. So I can see this further higher prices in the Bitcoin eventually towards 28,300 or even 30,000 mark in next period. That will be all for this update. I hope, guys, that you did enjoy and trade safe as always and speak to you from tomorrow morning.